I'm very impressed. NABC is the coordinator of the program with the Holland Africa Poultry Partners. We organize the trade missions from Ethiopia to the Netherlands. The purpose of this trade mission is to show the Ethiopian stakeholders the Dutch sector, the structure. Yeah, it's amazing. This is the first time I see this. I think it is good that they visit the Netherlands. Uh, it's just very wonderful to have such a uh, trade mission. They are very well coordinated and I would like to thank them for the good work they are doing. We are a producer of uh, livestock equipment, primarily uh, aimed at poultry and pigs. Our experience with African poultry stakeholders is that it is becoming more and more a professional industry and we expect that in the next decade Africa will improve a lot on the professional level in the poultry industry. MSD is a, a leader in the animal health industry in the worldwide. Ethiopia is, uh, to my opinion, one of the fastest developing poultry uh, countries in, uh, in, in Africa. There are very good contacts with Ethiopia and for that it is very wise to uh, invest in, uh, in, in a consortium together with Dutch companies. Well, since a long time MSD has a wide experience in uh, helping uh, the developing poultry industries and has brought the health situation uh, a lot forward and I'm sure that we can do that in Ethiopia as well. And I'm aware that Ethiopia is a big part of this uh, contain and uh, I'm very happy that I can uh, join you here. You can see this is 2.6 meter. Yeah, we have only uh, one drinking line. Yeah. yeah. I'm so surprised. Um, I have never seen such type of technology before in Ethiopia in any other uh, places. I like it. <laughs> very much, very, very. I take uh, a lesson and uh, this experience uh, should be applied in the future in my country. We have a feed factory in uh, Ethiopia and uh, where we produce uh, animal feed. The cooperation, I think, is uh, very unique. It's a mix of non-governmental uh, organizations and also private uh, investors. And uh, we represent the whole chain for the poultry uh, producers. And uh, it's more or less uh, a one-stop shop for the Ethiopian uh, farmers to ask uh, uh, advice, uh, products and uh, equipment to, uh, to develop their, their, their business. The University of Wageningen is a university of life sciences. Within Europe it's the largest and within the world it's one of the largest uh, in life sciences specialized. I'm interested in Ethiopia because I, uh, I supervise uh, PhD students in Ethiopia. We have a sandwich PhD student uh, working on development of a breeding program for indigenous uh, chickens. I did my master on uh, social effect how the animals are living together, or how the animals fight, for instance, when they are living in a group, they will fight each other. So I am studying a breeding program not to fight each other. We well, are currently responsible for a large share of the poultry production within Ethiopia. And, and we feel that by supporting them, by giving them better uh, birds, 
uh, we can help them to move out of, uh, of poverty. We got them to work into a workshop and the idea is that they're going to start a, a training center in Ethiopia. So we prepared some questions about that, so they are sort of challenged to think of what are interesting points as far as management is concerned, as far as training program, as far as education is concerned, and as far as the equipment they're going to use is concerned. This group specifically is discussing on the, how the management of the training facility will be and now trying to come up with a kind of arrangement which really fits for the Ethiopian condition. We have a project, a together project, uh, together with the Holland Africa Poultry Partners and we are visiting a farm here. Uh, it is an organic laying farm, layer farm for table egg production and uh, we are trying to, to see how people are running a farm, how they are managing a farm. This mission is really meant to show the Ethiopian stakeholders what we have to offer here in the Netherlands when it comes to poultry production. It can be an inspiring mission for them and also we hope to foster some cooperations between the different Ethiopian stakeholders. The cooperation with the uh, Ethiopian uh, stakeholders is very good. Um, we are a private company, so we most of the time deal with the private companies and owners in Ethiopia, so not with the institutions or the veterinary services. Uh, so, but um, it's very nice, it's uh, on a base of trust and, uh, and, and, and honesty. And um, what we notice is that they are really eager and uh, really willing to make steps uh, in the improvement of the poultry sector. The poultry sector is in, in uh, development. Uh, it's still a small sector, but we see a big change. Uh, they're changing to uh, more egg production and, uh, and, and meat. So that makes it an interesting market for investment from the Dutch sector. ISA stands for Institut de Selection Animale, a layer breeding company, producing parent stock for the world. So. We hatch in this hatchery here where we are now. We hatch their different breeds, different uh, genetic material for farms in Africa and also worldwide. Here we are in the hatchery and in fact this is the dispatch room. And before the chicks are uh, finally approved to be exported, the veterinary officer will come and do final inspection. So, these chicks are hatched, they are ready, they show us a few boxes to see what it is and I would like to check if the quality is, is good. These are beautiful chicks, they are just hatched. This is the Bourbons Brown, this is the female line. And uh, actually what you can see, and I put on my glasses, that it is a very fresh chick. We see uh, some of the basic and important, especially about the poultry management, we can apply it in my country. Pasriform is a leading Dutch manufacturer and exporter of incubators, climate control and automation, egg handling and chick handling. Also you see here the different machines for the chick handling, different machines for the egg handling. This complete everything what happens inside these four walls, that is our specialism. Inspiration, knowledge. Technology, education, capacity building, sharing experience. The exchange of the ideas that can be best when you understand each other. And that's why I think it is good that we take them to the farm to see live animals, to see how training is done. That is most important.